Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have first AMD AM5 motherboard is now available below 125 USDs. NVIDIA has quietly updated their GeForce RTX 4090 to 8102 301 GPU. Asus launches B760M Tub Gaming BTF motherboard with connectors on the back. AMD Ryzen 7000 B650 platform can yet boot Windows with two DDR5 24GB memory modules. So firstly we have Newegg have this product available which is the ASRock B650M HDV slash M.2 socket AMD Ryzen well AM5 Ryzen 7000 board here and well basically if you look into the pricing is 124.99 basically 125 USDs not quite below USDs but that you can still save 10% because uh, you know it's coming at 139.99 but now with that a decrease in fifteen dollars, you're getting at one twenty-five USD. So this is basically this is the lowest price that we are getting for the ASRock B six fifty M HDV motherboard here. It's very small form factor, obviously M ATX board, and it's gonna fit in almost all the casings out there. It is also has some good I/O ports, though it's not that much because you know it's still a B six fifty, so. You're not going to have crazy support for this one, but still not bad. And also has 2.5 uh, Ethernet cable, uh, Ethernet connector. So that's a plus there. So all in all, it's not a bad board, I have to say. And for 124 USDs, like, or 125 USDs, it's still pretty good. Because, you know, we already know B650 boards are, well, they're very much expensive nowadays. And this is probably the least that we can get from ASRock. So... Thumbs up. Next up, we have Reddit user Cavity Search One Two Three just posted this, and he mentions that Nvidia has quietly released new 4090 chip with 8102301 in the FE cards, and that's the die chart we're looking at. This is the updated version of their new uh, die. Basically, they updated that. So I wonder why they updated that, or maybe this is more efficient in terms of you know cooling or anything, or even power management. Probably it is. And if you look into it, they, uh, the user did some research here. And if you look into it, the voltage was limited to a maximum of 1.07 volts, which was compared to the previous one, which is 1.1 volts. So yeah, it is basically has been uh, a little bit of efficiency here, right there, because it's using less voltage, as you can see, 1.07 compared to 1.1. So yeah, quite right that it is more efficient. And also, this board has a new designation of 16F4. So a lot of a lot of has changed not too much still but uh, yes a lot of has changed and as you can see it's using the nvidia geforce r6 4090 with the technology of 4 nanom the die size remains the same 608 millimeter square so yeah basically the same size and all but it did made it a little bit efficient so that's nice next up we have asus tough gaming b6 or i should say b760m btf wi-fi d4 is kind of a unique design in terms of motherboards out there if you look closely enough this is the motherboard we're looking at but with no connectors in the front as you can see well guess what it doesn't have any connectors in the front rather in the back and if you look into it right here these all the pcie connectors you're looking at they're basically on the back even the sata connectors and also the power pins all of them are set in the back so i guess for better cable management this is going to be very much useful it kind of is like a futuristic one where you are you know it was planned to have it was planned to have something like this well basically now they're doing that surprisingly and i guess this kind of looks clean in the front because I mean, it is kind of clean. You have to can't deny that, right? So yeah, Asus is making that approach. I wonder what kind of casing that will support these kind of motherboards, as there should be some kind of clearance issue there. Uh, if there is a you know back connector going on, so I guess we have to wait and see what kind of casing will it support. All in all, the motherboard looks very slick, and I really like that. The aesthetic is very nice, and the power management is also looking very beefy. So plus to that. Next up we have an interesting story, at Zad Wang in Twitter has posted this, that Shrix B650E and 7600X can fully recognize or uh, the, can fully recognize the 24 gigs of X2 memories, but it really cannot boot it for some reason, and I guess this is some sort of BIOS issue, because we're looking at this Cursor Vengeance DDR5 memory kit here, which is at 24X2, which is 48 gigs of 5600 megahertz of DRAM we are looking at. And if you look closely, the DIMMs are recognized, as you can see, the Corsair 24 gigs, 4800 megahertz, which is the default megahertz we're looking at. 
They are recognized, but it's not booting for some reason. As you can see, Windows Boot Manager is defaulting to the repair kit here, which is kind of telling us that it is not booting properly. Has to be a BIOS issue, and I guess they will fix it soon enough, because that is a problem if you're buying 24 gigs of VRAM, or DRAM, I should say, but you're not getting the full performance out of it because you can't even boot it. So that's a problematic. Mm -hmm. All right, that is it for today. What do you think about the ASRock B6? 50 motherboard going down price of 125 which is kind of is a good deal i have to say we have to see that the pricing remains the same for the next 30 days otherwise it kind of is pointless but still it's a good deal so you should get it also us is trying this new kind of motherboard design so it's kind of be it's going to be very much interesting to see what kind of casing that we'll be getting to support these kind of motherboards all or even the normal motherboards can support it i don't know but i hardly doubt it because you need clearance and I hope they will get something done for that.